Welcome to the Tan Fam, Cody Allen. Cody. Oh, gosh, I have so many. Listen, my mind was flooding all night long thinking about what I was going to ask you. And it's interesting when um, I saw you briefly backstage, and I never like to talk before we come out, mm -hmm. and I saw the kindest eyes <laughs> pass me in the hallway, and you've been through a lot. We look at eyes now, don't we, with a yeah, mask? Yeah, I do. I, I <laughs> glare at people's eyes, and right. I just saw such kindness. Thank and I, I know you've been through a lot. Yeah. And this book exposes so many things about you, do you feel, I always ask people, do you feel liberated, you relieved? Oh, absolutely, there is um, such a freedom when you come out and you're your true self. And by the way, no matter what it is that you're struggling with, when you finally find that person yeah. that you truly are, um, there's, a, there's a freedom, there's, you walk differently. Yeah. I always relate it to like walking up a hill with like a backpack on with a bunch of rocks in it yeah. before. You get to take those rocks out and, and finally walk and be free. It, it's wow. totally liberating. You know, finding yourself, though, is a hunt. Sometimes you got to dig really far, yeah. dig in your heart to see who you are. For you, this journey um, had its ups and downs. Um, you've talked about when Ellen DeGeneres, for example, came yeah. out and criticizing her, mm. knowing internally you were battling. Yeah. What was that like? I mean, do you feel like, oh my God, I'm saying that this about Ellen knowing I'm hiding about myself? It's one of the reasons why I wrote the book is because I felt like such a fraud so much of my life. Yeah. Like, you just feel like you're faking it all the time. And that's no way to live. Um, you can't be truly happy, 100% happy uh, living like that. At least I found that to be true. And so I knew, and I thought I'd take like, you know, the secret to my grave. But then I realized like, okay, I, I actually need to uh, again, take the rocks out of the backpack a little bit and right. figure this problem out. How hard was it to, I'll keep the line here, take the rocks out of the backpack when you're such a big name in the country music world? We talk about um, views, social views, cultural views, and when it relates to the NFL or sports or even hip hop, we don't talk a lot about the fact that there are very few people in the country music world right. who are out. Ty Herndon um, is one name, um, but it's absent yeah. in the country music world. Yeah, we've uh, we've made some progress, um, as the whole world yeah, has. Yeah, the world has, the past right. T.J. Osborne from mm -hmm. Brothers Osborne came out in January, yeah. which was awesome. He's a prominent country music star, currently on the scene yeah. making great music. And so, um, yeah, I didn't see a whole lot of people like me, though, in 2017. And so it was and a little scary. Do you think the scary. world is hard because country music is so deeply steeped in religion and conservative views? Why is it hard in country music? Oh, I think some of that is definitely true. Um, it does tend to be more traditional. Mm -hmm. uh, but I do think that there is more openness than you may think. Oh, I think that there's plenty of it. Yeah. I have no aspersions. I'm just wondering what, from your perspective, when you're unpacking the, yeah. the rocks and you're saying, OK, there are not a lot of me knowing you were among the voices who, you know, again, you regret it, the criticism of Ellen, you were falling in line yeah. for a reason. Yeah, but we've seen that happen throughout the last few years. Yeah. And the love and acceptance that exists now was nothing like it was five years ago yeah. or 10 years ago or 20 years ago when Ellen came out. Yeah. So um, we made tremendous progress. And I think country music is coming around to that as well. I do have fans come up to me all the time at a country music show or festival and say something about this. I, I'm gay and, and, and I never thought there were people who like country music like How me. How does that feel to be a trailblazer in this way? I mean, you're the interviewer and now in this unexpected role, in the world of country music, you become yeah. a part of change. It's super humbling, obviously. It feels mm -hmm. great to be part of that movement. You know, T.J. Osborne, we've had that talk together where we chatted about, hey, he's, he's met people out in the crowd who didn't think they had a place before, but now feel like seeing him on stage uh, makes them feel like they, they have a place in country music. They can love it, too. We are back, and we're talking about how life's twists and turns can take us on an unimaginable journey to an unexpected destination. With us is famed country music DJ Cody Allen. Cody has been sharing how almost five years ago he came out publicly as gay after a lifetime of hiding his true authentic self. But to honor his truth meant hurting the person he loved the most in the world, his wife, Teresa. It was the start of a new life chapter that neither could have predicted. And Teresa also joins us from Nashville. Teresa, thank you so much for joining us as well. Hi. <laughs> Listen, I, I, I really admire the bond and friendship that you have 
but I'm curious how you got there, right? The building blocks to get there. You were married 10 years, and you say that um, you had no idea. This was when, when, when Cody told you his truth, this all came as a surprise to you. What was that like? Well, he came home one weekend after um, he, he was traveling back and forth from Nashville. And he said, I need to talk to you. Mm. And he sat me down and said, I'm gay. So at that moment, of course, I kind of was a little bit in shock, um, but I cried. And of course I cried, um, but not for me, mm. more for him, mm. if that makes any sense. It does. And your words that you said to him, it's not okay, but it's going to be okay. What did you yeah. feel and mean when you uttered those words? Because I knew, regardless of the way he was feeling on the inside, I knew that he was still my person mm. and that I was going to support him. And we had an amazing family. We had an amazing support system. And I knew the heart. I knew his heart. Mm. I mean, that's, as I said, it's, it's inspiring, but I think people would naturally put themselves in her shoes and say, okay, yeah. no anger, understanding, did you anticipate her reaction to be that supportive? No, I think I thought she would be disappointed, like, yeah. you know, upset. And I think she was all of those things. Uh, you know, we mm. cried that night. Mm. Um, but, what, when you cried, what were you crying about? Was it... Um, uh, when you, first of all, coming out to the person who you care about most. Um, and so at that moment, I also was crying because... Um, you don't know where it's going to go, and you don't know if it will wreck your family or will, how will it affect your kids. So her and I decided then that we were going to see through it with love. We weren't going to give up on our family, mm. and we were going to try to do, do our best to um, make our way through the storm and see, start unraveling that issue that I knew I had, that challenge yeah. that I knew I needed to face. What helped is when you told your children because they, as you talk about, were, well, this is okay. They were fine with it. Yeah, it was many years after that. Yeah. I tell everybody this whole process, it was a process. It wasn't a, uh, a, a revolution. It was an evolution. Yeah. We had to eventually get there. And it did take years to get to the point where I told them next. And, and of course, my whole family and friends and then everybody. But, um, yeah, it was definitely an un you know, sort of an unraveling, if you will, of, of a situation. You're now engaged. Uh -huh. You're in love. I look at that <laughs> red carpet picture of you and Trey, um, occupational therapist who, who, who has captured your heart. How do y'all make it work? Because you've got the kids. Yeah. Um, you've got Teresa. You've got Trey. How does this machine keep going? I don't even know. Uh, honestly, Tamron, we just all care about each other. We want to uh, be a great family, have time together. Right. We all like each other. That helps a lot. Well, that helps. Right? I mean, we enjoy each other's company. Yeah. So, um, yeah, we have, we'll have Thanksgiving together, yeah. and we'll, we've gone on a couple of vacations together over the I years. I mean, like this whole show is about things you could never have imagined. Yes. All of this that you were hiding and you reveal from childhood on, the fraud that you mm. believed at points in your life that you were, could you have ever imagined when you told Teresa these words, it would end up in this beautiful blended family. No, I had all the fears then that it would be just tragic, a tragic ending. Mm. And, um, but I also knew the person that uh, I married back when, Teresa, was a great person who wow. had incredible character, great attributes, a loving human, very compassionate. You see all that on the screen today. Um, and I knew I was a decent guy. I mean, I knew I was a decent human who was yeah. trying to do the right thing. And I always tried to you know, be a man of integrity. <laughs> Um, and so because of that, I, I thought, well, maybe we can see this through. And wow. she was willing to give a little bit. I was willing. I mean, it's, it's unusual. I think we need more of that civility in the world today, don't you think? Absolutely. Yeah. Yes, I do. <laughs> yes, I do. Well, um, congratulations on everything, thank Teresa. Thank you for, I think, again, what Cody Absolutely. said, reminding people of kindness and what respecting someone's journey looks like, even when it does hurt. So thank you so much. We appreciate you joining us from Nashville. And listen, Cody's book, Here's the Thing, Lessons on Listening, Life, and Love is out November 9th, but our lucky studio audience will have a chance to go home with it today. And as I told you, he's such a
kind guy, Cody Stay, to sign your copies of your book. Thank you, Thank you so much, Cody. Thank congratulations you, on everything, and my yeah. best to you and the kids and I really everyone. Appreciate it. Thank and you and very congratulations much. on the honor coming up. Oh, thank you very yes, much. This I is amazing. Oh, by the way, you don't know this. Teresa's actually at my house right now. This is the kind of bond we have because I have to be on your yeah. show. Someone had to let my dog out. <laughs> and Teresa's so, at Teresa's your house. Teresa's at the house right now. I gave her the key. She's coming Teresa, over. Teresa, you're awesome. <laughs> awesome. Thank you.